10,000 years ago, indigenous Mesoamericans domesticated what would come to be one of the most vital crops in the world, maize. Native to southern Mexico, maize quickly established itself as a fundamental element in Mexican food and culture. Many native maize varieties have been passed down through families from generation to generation, adapting to local environments and shaping local customs. Pues para nosotros es mucha es de mucha importancia porque pues de ahí comemos para la humanidad y para los animales. However, social change and urbanization have forced many families to lose or abandon their native maize, and with it, a piece of their family history and cultural heritage. The International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center in Texcoco, Mexico, established a seed bank that preserves thousands of wheat and maize seed varieties, including native maize varieties from families like Venturas and Morelos. In 1967, CIMIT scientist Dr. Angel Cato collected 93 samples of maize land races from 66 donor families in the state of Morelos. The samples were then identified and conserved at Simit Seed Bank. The donors' names and home villages were recorded. Photos were taken of the ears. Fifty years later, Simit researchers found the collection and wanted to know what had happened to the families and their maze over time. In 2016, PhD student Denise McLean Rodriguez began working along with CIMIT scientists Carolina Camacho and Denise Kostich to find the 66 families who donated their land races all those years ago. Denise began by tracking down the families in Morelos. She found that only 13 families were still cultivating the same native maize donated by their family in 1967. The families had had to abandon their land races for many reasons, including climate change, population growth and urbanization, as well as agricultural policy and cultural changes. Thanks to the work of Simit Seed Bank, families that lost their ancestral land races were able to get them back, and with it, a piece of their family history. No supe nada de eso, yo no sé cómo llegó, o cómo fue eso que donó el maíz, yo no me di cuenta, no supe. Por eso cuando usted llegó acá y me nombró el nombre de mi papá, pues sí me di mucho gusto. In addition to preserving cultural heritage, the Simit Seed Bank is key to developing maize varieties that are naturally resistant to stressors such as drought or disease. Land races represent not only the genetic richness, but also cultural richness. In, in the bank, they not only have seed that can, that have genes that will solve problems of climate change, but there are also genes that will give meaning to culture, to identity. Because agriculture, as the name says, is culture also. This case of abandoned land races in Morelos highlights the importance of using both methods of land race conservation, in situ and ex situ. In situ is Latin for on site. In this case, it is a type of conservation method that is done in farmers' fields when they grow a particular crop repeatedly year after year. On the other hand, ex situ, or off-site, is a type of conservation that occurs in a protected space, such as Simit Seed Bank. Both in situ and ex situ conservation are crucial in preserving genetic diversity. Well, in situ conservation is important because it allows the processes that have created this diversity to continue. So it allows the emergence of new mutations and the evolution of new potentially beneficial traits. Ex situ conservation helps particularly to secure the accessions in case of some uh, unpredictable condition in the field. And at the same time, it makes accessions available for breeders and for researchers. So it, it increases the accessibility of the accessions. The beauty of having germplasm bank um, collections is the security part. Um, we can guarantee, because we have 
perfect conditions for um, preserving seed, we can guarantee, or we hope we can guarantee for the future, uh, that we will always have this diversity on hand. Simmet is dedicated to continue to preserve and safeguard these native maize varieties for future generations. Pues las felicito de, de todo corazón a, a ustedes formando pues esos vínculos de, de vida para seguir conservando aquellas semillas porque pues son unas semillas que tienen vida y que están ahí 